Before I get into how to conduct an ABC analysis on your inventory, I should probably discuss what it is and why people do this. When you carry only a few items in inventory, it's very easy to manage your inventory well and at a detailed level. When you expand your inventory list to many items, you'll find there aren't enough hours in the day to constantly watch over the details of all inventory items. While you could hire a lot of people to manage the details of every single inventory item, that will be too costly. So what do savvy business owners do? They figure out how to prioritize which inventory items require more attention and which ones can be monitored in less detail or less often. An ABC analysis is a way to establish the priority of inventory items. Calling it ABC is just a naming convention known in the inventory management community. As I mentioned, ABC is just a classification system. But what can it mean in terms of inventory management? In Class A, we might say that those items are the most important to us, so we're going to have very tight control and tracking on those items. And maybe for inventory counts, we want to count those items monthly. Then in Class B, we want moderate control and tracking. Perhaps for those items, we only count them quarterly. And then for the lowest class items, Class C, we'll do very little tracking and perhaps we only count those items once a year. To split the inventory into ABC classifications, we put a percentage on the inventory. These can vary, you can make these numbers whatever you wish, but making Class A conventionally about the top 80% is a very popular choice. In this particular example, I'm going to say that Class B is my next 15% most important, and Class C is the bottom 5%. Now, what do these percentages represent? You can base your ABC analysis on multiple things. I've given three examples on the screen. So you may choose to base it on cost. That is the amount that you paid for a particular item when you put it into your inventory. You can base it on price. That is the amount your customer pays you for that item. So in that case, your ABC analysis is essentially based on revenue or total sales. A third choice is profit, which is actually one of my favorites. In this particular example, I'm going to use total cost because that's actually one of the most popular approaches, although I do personally prefer the profit approach since that's actually what makes it to the bottom line of the income statement. But let's proceed with our example based on cost. On the screen, I've got a list of 100 items, so I've just listed them in this spreadsheet from 1 to 100. I've recorded the demand, which is the sales, the number of units that we sold of each item, in the last 365 days. And I use the last 365 days because I use this analysis as a rolling analysis that I might conduct once per quarter. Priorities of your items shift and the amount of sales demand will fluctuate up and down. In this column, I've put the item cost. So what did it cost my company to put one of item number one in my inventory? So it cost me $20 to procure item number one. So the total cost in my company is just a multiplication of column D and column C. And we'll just copy that down in our sheet. So now we have the total cost of inventory related to the amount that we sold in the last 365 days. Now let's just get a complete total here. And I'm just going to put the total cost right here. for all 100 items. We can then calculate the percent that each item represents of the total. So we can take our total cost for that item and divide it by the total cost for all items. Just change it to a percentage and copy it down. Now in order to proceed to calculating the cumulative percent of the total, we need to be able to sort these from highest to lowest. So if I highlight my data, and I'm just going to ask Excel to sort, from the largest 
to the smallest. So now we can see that our top item is actually item number 55, and it represents 3.1% of the total cost of our inventory. Now that we have it sorted, we can put in a formula to calculate the cumulative percent of the total. So this has to be in order. So we'll leave this in order. And we'll copy our formula down. So now what we start to see is that the top item is 3.1% of the total. We knew that. We can actually start to see that you know the top two items represent 6.1% of the total, and so on. And what we're looking to see is where does this number actually reach 80%? So right about here, we've reached 80%. So we're going to say, OK, everything from here upwards is going to become class A. And we said that the next 15%, so up to a total of 95%, is actually going to be our class B. So to about here, roughly. And then everything else that we have is our class C. And now we can put an inventory strategy against that. So we know exactly which items we want to count monthly, which ones we want to count quarterly, which ones we want to count annually, and which ones that we want to do very tight control and tracking on. Feel free to give this a try on your own inventory data and let me know how it goes.